for you. too old. I can't catch up to my nose no more. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go get a tissue. Hey John, how you doing? Hi Cheryl. All right, hanging in there, Marianne. Hanging in there. Okay. I think that the first thing I'm going to do this evening is Spirit has directed me to two people, but one left apparently, Heather, and he just directed me to Julie. Now Julie, Spirit is going to reveal what you have prayed to God for. He's been doing this, so I myself personally have no clue what you have prayed to God for because that's between you and God, but my spirit guide is going to tell me what that is, and I'm going to tell you what I hear. All I need you to do, Julie, is to validate what I hear, okay? All right, so, so let's start with that this evening, and then we'll go on to the donation readings, all right? Now, Julie, I'm going to listen to spirit. From this point forward, everything I'm going to say to you is what he is saying to me. So, let me listen. Hopefully you're paying attention. Yes, it's for you, Miss Alexander. Yes. Spirit directed me to you so that you may hear what you have prayed to God for. Okay? So, I know you're new here. It's your first time, so maybe that's why he chose you. Okay? So you can witness what is shown with what I hear. All right, so I'm going to listen to spirit now because I'm clairaudient. I hear spirit. That's how I get the messages, all right? So let me listen to what he has to say to me, and I'm going to tell you what I'm hearing, all right? So let me listen. Spirit's telling me, Julie, three days ago you were not happy with someone. You talked to God about this. You were not happy at all with this person. She apparently came at you in a way that you did not expect. Caught you off guard, he's saying to me. This was three days ago. Spirit said, do you remember that, Julie? Because God does. All right, Julie, this is what I just heard. Can you validate what Spirit just said to me, please? Hopefully it's not a reenactment of the last time. But
That's cool. Hmm. Obviously, Bibian don't count that one. All right. Jacqueline, Jackie, are you here? Let me know you're here, Jackie. I'm going to do yours now. Jackie, I see you. Very good. All right, Jackie, I'm going to listen to Spirit, all right? I'm going to tell you what he's saying to me. All right? All right, Jackie. Let me clear my head, all right? Because we already just batted a zero on that one. And I, and I don't know why, but that's okay. I'm going to listen, Jack. I'm going to tell you what he's saying to me, all right? Let me listen. Somebody's being very stubborn with you. You're not so happy with this person. You've been somewhat thinking of saying what's really on your mind. But you've been holding back. Spirit said, how would I know that? Because God told me, he said. said he sees you, Jackie. You need to know that. You've been talking to God a lot lately. He hears you. He knows that you're not happy right now. Alright, he's saying that you've been thinking things that you really shouldn't think, like, you know, thinking about leaving, you know, like, I'm tired of all this, you know, and, uh, this ain't for me no more, kind of thing. You're really pointing to me. Let me listen. Spirit said you need to be more self-assuring to yourself. Don't give in to the people around you. So apparently you've been letting them influence you. You know this is true, Spirit said. God sees you. Did somebody leave you when you were seven years old? Was there a split up maybe? Because I'm getting somebody leaving you when you were seven years old, Jackie. It, it somewhat changed your life. You had to compensate with someone else. God saw that too. You talk to yourself sometimes too. There's a question of where you're going to be soon. I don't know if this is work-related. It may be. I'm not being specific as to where this is going, but I'm kind of feeling that. 
but I could be wrong. It's just me. I don't, you know, I shouldn't always, I shouldn't put my thoughts into this. <coughs> oh my God, these red candies make me choke sometimes. Oh, all right, let me listen. Something about a temporary setback. This was a couple of days ago. He's also saying you had to compensate for somebody's stupidity. I came in and saved the day. Does that sound familiar, he said? Because God saw that too. He said, now one more thing for you, Jackie. Tell God you love him. And thank him for showing you to you, Spirit said. Okay, Jackie? Okay. Jackie, this is what I just heard. Making sense, Jackie, what I just heard? Oh, I'm sure it did. Yes, Michael, Lisa did. feeling it was work-related, Jackie. I mean, I put my input into it. Spirit didn't say that to me, but I kind of felt it. You know what I mean? I guess that's part of the course being a psychic meaning. You're supposed to be able to feel certain things, you know? But I'm not always right. Spirit, on the other hand, he's always right. Except for me and Bonnie. He's not always right with us. But that's okay, Tom. It's a big decision, Jackie. You know, it's not like it's next door in another state, you know, it's a whole nother country. Mm -hmm. Book a private session with me. Maybe Spirit will give you direction on that. I'm sure he can, not that he can't. Maybe you might want to look into that a little deeper. You know? Right. You know? Yeah, you really need this, Michael. You really need this. Spirit knew, Michael. That's why he gave you that number seven. You've had seven surgeries, skin grafts. That's, you know, Michael, I would have went into a burning building too. Did what you had to do, brother. You know? Did what you had to do. It's not God's fault. It's not. We all tend to blame God for everything. Oh, I lost my job this week. God, it's your fault. Well, your lazy ass didn't get up early enough for work three days this week, and you come in late. That's why you ain't working there no more. Well, you're going to go quickly burn God for that, right? Yeah. We're all responsible for everything that happens around us. 
all of us, you know? So easy to cast the blame on somebody that's not in front of you, right? People tend to do that too, you know? I most certainly don't have all the answers. I don't. I don't know nothing. All right. Michael, you, yours is going to be a very special reading, and, and to me too, you know what I mean? Because I, I really, I know you need this. I know you do. And Lisa, thank you for stepping forward to doing this for you. You're a beautiful woman, Lisa. I love you. You know that. We have a lot in common, you and I, Lisa. Both of us got good hearts. But we also have that other side to us that people don't want to cross into, you know? So, Michael, you, you got to give me a minute, all right? That's, I'm going to need a minute. I need to clear my head because this is a special reading for you, Michael, and I know it is. I just feel it's going to be amazing for you, Michael. It's going to be amazing for you, all right? And I want everybody that's on the outside of this live to watch this, talk about it. You know, let people know what you just witnessed here for Michael, because this is going to be special for Michael. All right? He, he needs this. He needs this. So give me one minute. I will return in one minute, okay? Michael, who do you want me to bring to her? Your wife? Your daughter? Who do you want me to bring through to you, Michael? Page, how are you? Welcome. 
Michael, what do you want me to bring through to you? It's your choice. What's up, my brother Chris? How are you? See you here, Michael. Who do you want me to bring through? Give me their full name. Yes, I see Michael's here. I see what you say. Who, Michael? I need a full name. I'll make sure I'm bringing the right person through to you. What's your full name, Michael? We'll get to this sooner or later. Just waiting on you. Sorry, Michael. Facebook sucks anyway. Abby Suzanne. Yeah, Miss Bonnie picked that out, Paige. I don't do palm readings. I'm not a gypsy. Gypsies do that kind of stuff. I'm not a gypsy. I'm just a person that hears spirit, that's all. All right, I, I need to get myself ready for this one, Michael. I really do.
All right, Michael, I'm going to listen to Abby now. All right? And I'm going to tell you what she's saying to me. She's here. Spiritual says she's here. Okay? So. All right, Michael, I'm going to listen to her. Everything I'm about to say to you is what she's going to say to me. All right, so let me listen to her. First thing I heard, Michael, she loves you very much. She's sorry this all happened. She knows you tried to save them. She couldn't get to us. Too hot. You got burned. Michael, with tears in her eyes, she's saying, we saw that. We saw that. You tried as hard as you could. We love you, Michael. You need to know that. She's also saying, we know you're hurting right now. And so are we. Michael, she's saying you need to be more self-conscious of yourself. Don't let this kill you. We will be together again. Our day will come. It will, Michael. I'll be waiting, Pio. I know you love me. I love you too. She's missing you so much. You, you need to be more careful, she's saying, Michael. Don't let this take you to where you don't need to be. You need to be happy again. We are home. We are safe, Michael. Not in any pain. We are fine. Your daughter loves you, Michael. She knows you tried to save her. You tried as hard as you could. You didn't care about yourself. We saw that. Michael, we love you. We need you to be happy again. Hold on a second. I'm going to listen to her. She's happy that you've been thinking about her. You're always thinking about me, she said. It's not your fault. But you didn't realize what was going to happen. It wasn't your fault. Um, our time had come. Everybody has that, she said. That was our time. God knows our time. He didn't plan it, Michael. It's just the way your life goes sometimes. You never know. I'm sorry too, Michael. I'm sorry for leaving you. You were everything to her. She said, my everything. I need you to know that, Michael. Be careful. 
don't let this kill you. Because it is. She sees that, Michael. Are you not who you are anymore? You're so lost. So are we. I know that feeling, Michael. I feel it too. If you could be more happy, I could be more happy. Your daughter wants you happy too. She doesn't want to see her daddy sad. She had to tell you that she loves you. She's proud of you. You're my daddy. And I love you. Always will. Be more happy and we'll be more happy. God has us, Michael. Know that. We're home. Where you'll go one day. And we'll all be together again. It's going to happen. But don't turn your back on God, she said. It's not his fault. It's not yours either. You need to be happy again, she said. I want you to be. She said, be careful, Michael. There's someone trying to cause problems for you right now. She's bringing you up. I'm not very happy with you. She sees this going on. Again, she wants you happy, Michael. She keeps on saying this. I need you to be happy. So don't worry about us. We're okay. We're not there anymore. There's no pain. We're fine. We're, we're watching over you, Michael. Know that we're with you every day. We never left you. They've been with you since this happened, Michael. All the time, she said. I'm with you. She said she can't leave you. I can't forget you. With, with tears in her eyes, Michael, she's saying you're her everything. You're my man. I'm your woman. Again, Michael, she's saying be careful. Be careful. Don't let this get to you. You're bigger than this, she said. You're a strong man. She knows this has brought you to your knees. Nothing more can be done to you to hurt you like this. We are hurting too, Michael. I don't want to be away from you. But we have no choice now. God is going to make you stronger. You're going to be fine. You're not happy right now. I see that. I know your pain. I feel it too, she said. Listen. What's she's saying something about a house in the future for someone? I, I don't know who she's not referring to. Who Michael? Somebody buying a house or something? Thinking about buying a house? I don't know. They're replacing the house. They lost in the fire. I don't know. Something to do with this house. 
No me gusta. Michael, she's bringing up you know, something that you couldn't find. I don't know. Is this a suitcase or something? Something that you couldn't find. I went crazy trying to find it. I don't know what it is. You'll find it. Michael, she sees all the medical things you're going through. I'm with you, she said. Know that. She's going to hold your hand all the way through it. Until you're back to where you need to be. She said, you're going to be fine, Michael. Take time for yourself. Heal. She's saying, heal, Michael. I'm okay. You need to know that. We're both fine. We're in heaven, Michael. Everyone is happy that we're here. It's not like you think it is. It's like home. It's hard to explain, she said. It's more than just home. It's everything. You'll know it too when you get here, Michael. I'll be waiting for you. I will be the first person that you will see. Along with Jesus. He greets everyone. That's what he does. He welcomes everyone to heaven. And then you stand before him. And you are judged. And then you stand before our Father God. And he alone decides if you will stay or you will go. So Michael, that's how it works, Michael. I was judged. I found out things I didn't know about myself. That I thought were okay. But God is forgiving. He forgave me. He can forgive you. Now one more thing, Michael. I love you. Never forget that. I will always be your woman. Forever. Always and forever, she said. Okay, Michael, I love you. And I'll talk to you again. Okay, my love. I love you. Thank you, Michael, for coming to talk to me. I miss you so much. Okay. Okay. That's what I just heard.
Vivian, do what you gotta do. Vivian, I gave you your authority to do what you need to do. Do what you feel you gotta do. Vivian's a moderator here now. Be careful what you say. Michael's nurse, thank you. She had me crying too, so. Don't feel alone, Michael. I was too. I knew that was going to happen. I just knew it. Before I even started your reading, I knew that it was going to be an emotional reading. Love you, brother. Know that they're safe, okay? She wants you happy again, Michael. I'm going to send some healing prayers up high for you, brother. Some healing prayers. Michael's had to go through seven surgeries. Skin grafts. Shows you how... How hard he fought to save his family. I know that feeling, Michael. I'd run into a burning building. I wouldn't care if I was on fire. I wouldn't care. Certain men have that. Other guys will run like a bitch. Like Randy Ford. He'll run like a girl. <laughs> Coward. Anyway. Yes, I did, Lisa. Yes, I did. You heard what I said, right, Vivian? I gave you authority. Somebody steps out of line, Vivian. Send them on their way. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to take care of this. I took care of that, Vivian. She won't be asking again. That's the one that said no. And you see how she's acting, right? Anyway. Amen, amen, Mariah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Well, she didn't validate what was said to her. What do you think, Kathy? Everybody else validates what they prayed to God for, but, you know, we had one that was named Julie the other night, too, that did this. That's why I kind of was hesitant I think that was a return visit under a different name. It was a beautiful message, Tina. Very emotional message, I'll tell you that. Very emotional. Some readings are like that. And I, I can always sense it. It's going to be like that. And it's like, oh my God, here we go. This one's going to touch the heart. Well, you know what it is, Karen. You never know what that other person's problems are. You know, I sat in front of a school bus coming out of the property about a week or so ago. 
and the mother was standing at the bus, and, you know, I didn't know what was going on, and I sat there patiently, and she, she was talking to the driver, and I, I didn't know what was going on, but as I was sitting there saying, you know, you don't know what's up, just, like, chill out, relax, you got a big, big rush to get where you got to go, and this little boy that come off the bus was extremely handicapped, handicapped. So the mother was having a hard time getting him off the bus. And, you know, here, me, I'm just running into town. I could be 10, 15, 20 minutes, a half hour late. Who gives a rat's ass, right? So you never know what's sitting before you. Never know. A little patience, a little kindness goes a long way. It certainly does. But some people don't have the capacity to do that. They're, they're caught in their own little mixed up worlds. Delusions and illusions, you know? Mm, they always are, Tina. They always are. Amen, amen, Angela. Amen, amen. God bring comfort to Michael. Hmm. Listen, man, I'm not perfect. If you want somebody perfect, you're in the wrong life. Dennis is not perfect. I got issues, just like everybody else, you know. I've changed a lot in my ways, though. I'm not going to let people get into my space no more. I'm not going to allow them to have that power. Not going to happen. So does anybody else like to do this this evening? Talk to a loved one, ask Spirit two questions, or get a little mini reading? Jealous Mariah. They wish they were me. And nobody wants to be me. I don't want to be me. <laughs> Sometimes. It's hard to be me. You know, you all think this is a gift. I hear that so said to me, oh, you've got a gift. Yeah. I'll give it to you one day. You'll be begging me to take it back. Begging me. I'm never alone. Never alone. I always have spirit talking to me. Always. I am never alone. And I do spend time alone. But I'm not. I don't even see the reason why not, Lisa. You know? I have no... No reason to see why not. some idiot who hears us, that's all. I 
I don't take the credit for none of this. I'm just me. Some guy who hears this stuff, that's all. No, you, you don't want it, Cindy. You don't want it. This carries a lot of emotion with it doing it too. A lot. And it can weigh heavy on my soul too. It's 20 minutes to 12 midnight here, Houston Standard Time, so. Oh, it's draining. No doubt about that. Yeah, there's a lot of weight on my shoulders, Lisa. A lot. I, I have to come out here all the time and be spot on. And it's not me. It's not. I just hear it, and I tell you all what I hear. That's basically what I do, okay? There's nothing more or grandeur or remarkable about me. There's nothing about that. Nothing. If, if I didn't hear this stuff, I couldn't do this. You know? All right, everybody. Y'all have a wonderful night. All right. I'm going to go chill out now. Those emotional loved one connections really get to me. So. Let me go dwell on that for a while come back to myself because sometimes this carries over with me for a little while I just can't walk away and a lot of times after I'm done doing these readings for you people I still hear stuff you know I have no control over what I hear it just comes All right, everybody, like I say at the end of every live, don't forget to tell God you love him because God's most certainly not forgetting to love you today, all right? Make sure you do that. That's what's going to get you that key to the pearly gates to get in, loving God. Don't love God? There's always that place called hell for you. I hear, I hear it's a real warm place. It's not where I want to go. All right. Through God's will, we will see if I'm, I will be on tomorrow night. I'll let you tell tomorrow. We have plans for the day. We're going to Lake Taconic with me, Miss Bonnie, Amanda, and her grandson. We're going to have a fun day. Whole day at the lake. So. If you want a private session with me tomorrow, it's going to have to be in the early evening. Okay? Because I'm not going to be available all day tomorrow. All right? I'm taking time for me and Miss Money. All right? So, everybody have a lovely night. What's left of it? God bless each and every one of you. And like I said, don't forget to tell God you love them. Not so hard to do. Watch. I'll show you. Hey, God, I love you. How easy that was. He heard me. Yes, he did. All right. <clears throat> Thanks, y'all, for coming tonight. I'll see you when I see you, all right? Ciao, Bellas. Ciao, hombres. <laughs>